6,450 pounds as you see it here today. A Freedom Express 292 Super Slide, half ton towable, private rear bunkhouse with big camp kitchen. Coming in at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Freedom Express is pretty much the original uh, Asdell ultralight out there. And they, they always kind of went about it a different way. They're a little bit bigger than the conventional ultralight, but they're built smart so that they you know aren't gonna kill the tow vehicle. Quick look at her first with the slide all closed up. Something I like to do for you here at Halet RV. Um, what's kind of cool about this one, if you need to make a travel stop, you could fold this sofa down for a sleeper like you could pull those back cushions off of it. And notice the complete lack of carpet, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that a welcome addition to your camping lifestyle? But over here, oh, I forgot to put the other cushion in place. I Well, I screwed my own self up. Um, I was going to show you the dinette in the sleeper mode so that uh, if you do need to make a travel stop, you got a couple kids. If you need to put one or two on, uh, say, like, put one on the couch, you could put one or two over here. Or if you got, like, a long, big, tall adult they could fit here, you can make a travel sleeper stop because you're really not going to be able to get to the bunks or the bathroom with that slide closed. However, what is nice is whether you have the standard refrigerator or the newly available 12-volt compressor fridge that we have right here, you can get that fridge door open, you can get to the fridge. So if we need to stop, grab a bite to eat, we can. If we need to potty or sleep, well, uh, we're going to have to find a space where we can open the slide. Now, as long as you know that ahead of time, usually you can park yourself accordingly in a big enough parking lot. I just like to make you aware so that you don't get caught unawares because there's nothing like when we have a, uh, oh my gosh, potty emergency with one of the kiddos <laughs> and you got to jockey the truck around to make sure that that can happen. Now there's a couple things that really make this one look and feel a lot different from a common ultralight when you get inside. First of all, you can see how they've gone completely carpetless here. That's something they did last year in the Liberty Edition Freedom Expresses, but now you're finding it in this non-Liberty Freedom Express. It's one of the reasons we've normally done this model almost exclusively in Liberty Edition in the past, but more and more features have become available outside of the Liberty package that I think one of the better buys is the uh, ultralight version that we're in right now. We're getting the more ride steps, we're getting carpetless. You will see in a minute, we now have the option of putting that same big 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge in there. We still have that taller six foot nine ceiling along with that lighter color package and that carpetless floor uh, in the slide. Makes the whole RV look and feel bigger. There are a lot of good features here that uh, will save you, uh, last I checked, like. Four to five thousand dollars in this version of this model as compared to a Liberty version and frankly guys I've been doing this for years and I'm really hard-pressed to figure out what the differences are this is this has become one of the, the best buys and ultralights out there pound for pound dollar for dollar value the uh, this is a trifold sleeper sofa hide bed right here that is an optional piece of equipment that we've applied here but it does really kind of maximize your sleeping space and I love how it's got like a residential style kind of free floating uh, sort of thing about it. So if you want to slide some board games or something under it, you can. All the windows open for airflow, but I do have all those nice blackout shades pulled down now to keep the RV a little bit cooler and to help the footage come along a little bit. Now over here, you've got to try, remember, you've got that full sleeper sofa, and then over here we've got like a seven foot long adult sized sleeper dinette, because of course that can fold down into a bed as well. So not only is this model good for sleeping just kids, but you can have adult-sized big people on the dinette and the hide bed that we've optioned into this one here at Halet RV. So it's a good whole family mover or big guest mover. Another cool thing that they do on here is storage. So if we flip that table up out of the way, what you kind of see is that you've got storage doors on either side of the U-dinette, plus the rear bench has a sliding access panel to get to it, not to mention that big pantry that you saw over there. Now, with that table being free-floating, that means that, you know, if you're bigger like me, you can scoot the table out of the way when you are scooting into the dinette, or you could take it outside for picnic time, although this RV has its own included picnic table in the pass-through. We'll see when we go outside. Or you could slide it over in front of the sofa and use it like a coffee table. I mean, there's a lot of different things you could do with it. <laughs> All kinds of different stuff. So um, there is the available 15,000 BTU air conditioner upgrade on these, which we put on them just about 10 times out of 10 here at Halet RV. I've been told by my Freedom Express uh, re factory representative that we 
add more options to and don't build our Freedom Expresses like anybody else that he has in his territory. And I'm fine with that. What I'm doing here is based off consumer feedback from folks like yourselves. You've said things like you want to get carpet out of them. I talked to Freedom Express. They got the carpet out of it. You want bigger air conditioners. You want bigger refrigerators, a ladder on the back to access the roof, a power tongue jack. These are all things that uh, we've helped get done either as options on this RV or factory changes for, uh, due to your feedback given to us here at Halo RV. So thank you, folks. Thank you very much. So bigger air conditioner. Uh, each vent can be turned and closed individually. Again, that is an, a new, newly available at the time of this filming optional 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor refrigerator which is very very cool we'll come back and see the kitchen in a little bit more detail in a minute but one of the things i want to focus on first is the countertop because you'll find whether it's this counter the dining table and the bathroom coachman was the first rv manufacturer to use sealed edge counters all the way through the rv and that's because coachman owned the company that made those things so it kind of gave them a little bit of a competitive advantage little detail too this still has a flush mount sink cover, but notice how it's now split down the middle so you can control that a little bit better. And then just the little detail stuff like on your breeze window over here, guys, the little uh, pull anchor for those strings, just the little detail stuff like that, that quality of life enhancement. That is something that I am just all about. As I've, as I've gained a couple years in age and I've lost a little bit of hair on my forehead, I think it's, um, <clears throat> pardon me now, a five head, um, <clears throat> anyway. The uh, point I'm making here is little convenience factors like that, little things that'll make my camping experience better, easier, more enjoyable with my family. I'm just all about them. Like a porcelain foot flush stool. And the fact that it's kind of fluffy friendly because if you notice, you've got that shelf there for some extra TP and whatnot, but the cutaway of that countertop makes it so that if a bigger person like me sits there, you're not feeling quite so cramped in. And we have a handy little uh, towel hanger over here so that after we do get out of the shower, we got a place to put that stuff, some shelves for extra toiletries. And one of the other things to consider here, with this being a six foot nine tall ceiling instead of a conventional six and a half, when you step up into that right there and you're uh, you know in that shower surround area, a taller person like me, you don't have to have your head in the bubble. Case in point, standing here 6'3 with my shoes on, I, I, I can go on my tiptoes and maybe get my head to penetrate up into that bubble, but I don't have to stand here and duck like this or have my head in the skylight to take a shower. Now, it's not that that's necessarily a deal breaker for me. It's just, once again, those little quality of life things. It's just really nice that I don't have to. And what's kind of cool with the Asdell that they use at Freedom Express, Coachman's been using Asdell longer than anybody else, it offsets the extra three inches of sidewall height. So this RV is taller inside without weighing more overall, thanks to the Asdell. Then again, heavy use of things like aluminum structure in the sidewall, the flooring, um, around the perimeter, the roofing, you know, that, that doesn't hurt anything either. From here, moving back into our private bunk room, if there's uh, something Coachman just really excels at, it's daily use function stuff like storage. You know, shoe garage down there, storage wall all the way up the left side over here. But another thing that they did really well, breeze windows. There are breeze windows everywhere in this bunk room. Every window in this RV is going to open for airflow. They have their own privacy shades. You've got TV hookups above the rear cabinet over there. Um, the uh, windows on the left and the back of the RV, as we're facing the rear wall, that is, they do slide. These windows over here, that tilts open for airflow, and that tilts open for airflow. It's called an egress window, and that gives you kind of good rainy day airflow as well. So they kind of give you a mixture of both. There's some household outlets down there on the left-hand side. Just around the corner, right back here, there's a set of USB plugs. But what I wanted to do before we finished up in the living room area is pop this guy open because kids eat up so much space and anytime I can get storage in the bunk room specifically, I'm a happy camper. And that's what we're all about here at Halo RV, making folks happy campers. So I mean you just got you just got shelf space and storage for days back here. You can really pack her up. Now as we exit the bunk room, something I failed to point out in the bathroom area is the fact that the bathroom door actually locks. That's an easy thing to miss, a very underappreciated feature in RV design, giving you some privacy in the bathroom area, something not every brand does well. So we already talked about how there are the side breeze windows, how all the windows open for airflow. They all have those nice shades to block the sun out. Notice though, Freedom Express is one of, it seems like a dying breed of brands that has maintained a focus on storage by continuing to give us a storage cabinet 
above the sofa seating. A lot of brands have started to sacrifice that so they can put bigger windows in the RV. Because windows look good. I like windows for sure. But I've got tons of windows in the RV as it is. There's only so much space you can store stuff. I think any amount of storage is, is good storage space. Now for uh, privacy up front, you see how you do have sliding privacy doors for the bedroom. And our entertainment center can pivot around for some evening viewing. And they are still including DVD in that um, uh, Bluetooth kind of combo entertainment job right there, which once again, a lot of brands have stopped doing. But if we're going to talk storage, we might as well open everything up. These are all pocket screwed cabinets, so it is the heavier kind of construction that's going to last you longer. You see you've got the nicer um, kind of hidden hinges. It gives it that beautiful aesthetic. Around the corner, I often miss showing this, you do have your command center up there, up where the little grandkid fingers can't get it. And then you've got some extra lights and a couple accent light switches below that counter or uh, cabinet line. Let me get back down here where the camera can adjust more of that, that sealed edge counter stuff we talked about before. I popped one of the sink covers off so you could take a good look there. But right here, this is something I want to focus in on. Look at the depth of this uh, plywood box drawer. Freedom Expresses have deeper countertops than most brands, and it's easy to miss. I, it took me a couple years, actually, to catch on to it, but I've been doing this long enough. It's kind of, you know, from memory now. So when you have a deeper countertop, you have more space back here here for appliances and there are appliance outlets under the overhead cabinets here but this is good for like your coffee makers and stuff while leaving our prep space functional up front and if the countertop is deeper that means that our drawers and our cabinet space is deeper but i'd be remiss in my duties if i didn't tell you about one of my favorite things in the freedom express and that is the sink around utensil drawer you have to say it like that. I, I have to say it like it's a superhero kind of thing. Cause it's the smartest use of space I've ever seen under the sink of an RV. And this little guy right here is actually removable. So if you want to keep all your utensils in that thing, you can take it outside for picnic time, take it over to the U dinette uh, for dining time. It's just so multifunctional, so handy. Um, they, also, that little shoe garage, well, not even little, pretty big shoe garage by the entry door, cutting the clutter, keeping the shoes out of the way. Now, I want to specify that this is a 60 by 80 true queen bed because very often when people see that the bed does come right up close to the entertainment center, they go, oh, crap, I'm going to kick it all night. And you won't. This is an 80 inch true residential queen size bed. And if you want to swap it out with a different mattress, you want to put queen sheets on it, fits all day long. It's easy. Both sides of the bed have household and USB plugs. You've got breeze windows on both sides, hanging closets on both sides. You've got a blackout shade for that front windshield there, which looks good on the outside. It's cool to be able to see, like if you hear a funky noise on your campsite, you can do that. Uh, not to mention the fact that that shade can just kind of blot the sun out so that you have a, uh, a good look at everything, but not, not a good look at everything. I'm sorry to keep the heat out. I got too many things whirring through my head. Apologies there. A full overhead cabinet here. And if I get down, you see that it's actually quite deep and gives you plenty of storage. Now there's a black switch next to those overhead reading lights right there. That will activate the lights on the ceiling because with this RV being a little bit taller, shorter folks, how do I want to say that? Maybe a little more gravity friendly as it were. Well, it's it could be hard to reach those, you know? Now you don't got to worry about it. And up top here, you get a kind of like a, a combo, kind of a skylight and vent for some airflow. And with household uh, or with uh, other 12 volt wiring nearby, it wouldn't be really hard to install a power vent fan in that if you are so inclined. Give us a call here at Halet RV. We can get you a quote on that before you ever take her home. Down below the master bed, there is a full LED light strip across the front wall under the bed there so you can see everything in there. And if you look up top in the pasture, you actually see that uh, picnic table included with the RV that I mentioned to you. It's two foot by four foot. Very, very handy. And this also gives you a good clue to a lot of the uh, aluminum structure that you find in the Freedom Expresses. You see right there, you've got a little simple side mount prep plug for a solar trickle charger. Very handy. If you're going to go off grid, that portable panel, if you get one of those that plugs into that, is all you need to keep that fridge running pretty much indefinitely. We haven't had anybody say to the contrary, and we've done a little bit of testing of our own, and it passed with flying colors. The stable steps, uh, once only part of the Liberty Edition Freedom Expresses, have since become basically standardized on the Ultras and the Liberties. And all of them have that just dynamite look to them. They have that kind of almost like light beach breeze sort of feel and flow to them. That little accent of the blue on there is something that always catches me. I like that little titch of color. 
Uh, the windshield on the front, automotive installed, and that is a windshield, not a window. There is a difference. It's a higher grade of glass. That thing is actually dual paned itself so that it's extra strong uh, is one of the ideas. Now, something to remember, uh, you see the diamond plate at the bottom right there. That is where most rocks if thrown, would tend to hit the RV, like well over 90%. That's why they always are in that area. And those rocks tend to come from your own vehicle. Anything that hits above that line has to come from another vehicle, essentially. And it has to, you know, thread the needle between the truck and the trailer to get up there. It's not impossible, but it's nearly impossible for that to happen. It's, it's incredibly uh, unlikely, but I guess theoretically plausible. Power tongue jack is actually an optional piece of equipment on these, but you are going to watch us put that on there 10 times out of 10 here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan, because why wouldn't you? It's especially when it's cheaper to do it from the factory than aftermarket. Now, uh, 12 volt battery disconnect switch. That is something that Freedom's been doing for a couple seasons, but with the upgrade to the 12 volt refrigerator, that has become a very important piece of equipment because it can keep the RV from eating the battery when it is in storage. And those 12 volt fridges are actually surprisingly low draw, but it would murder a battery given long enough time. You also notice how they have a, a spare tire on the front there. They do that for load equalization purposes. They keep the rear of the trailer wide open so that, uh, you know, basically weight on the front of the RV, like that spare tire, tows better than weight on the back. These are magnet holdbacks on those baggage doors so they're easy to get in and out. You see that these are all tinted windows very heavily. Now the window tint, plus the, if you pull down the blackout shades, plus the white skin, plus the Asdell are actually all kind of working uh, together in concert with one another to make the RV exceptionally good for hot climates. Then you factor in the bigger air conditioner that we like to put on them here at Halitz and you're good to go. Something I want to show you over here. These are a little bit different wiper seal systems. So first of all, you see that you got an exterior bulb seal. There's a matching bulb seal inside. So there's seal point number one. Wiper seal number one and two. So there's always three points of contact on the slide when the slide's fully extended or retracted. But Freedom Express uses a little bit different T-shaped wiper seal. And then, they use a really rough gripping textured wall right here. That in conjunction with this always makes sure that those seals get flipped all the way in and out like they're supposed to. And it's been this way for years, but I don't want to gloss over the fact that this does have an enclosed heated underbelly good for some decent extended season use. Having all of our hookups centralized is another thing Freedom Express does so, so well. And this is another textbook example of the fact that you can tell this is made by somebody not just because it sounds good for sales, but Freedom Expresses are made by people who actually camp. And the difference, it just, if you've ever RV'd before, it really, really shows. They're not, they're, they're beneficial for a first timer, but they're built by people who have experience. A couple quick notes while we're out here. We do have a black tank flush right above our sewer hookups, which are directly below that area there. Separate cable and satellite hookups, very handy for those who are using different entertainment forms. Full outside camp shower and another baggage door over here below the bunks. They didn't want to waste anything. They said, let's use every little ounce of space we can because when it comes to storage, every ounce counts and Freedom Express understands that. Once again, remember that all these windows open for airflow. We are backup camera ready. And you see the rear ladder on the back there. Once again, that is an optional piece of equipment that we like to add here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It probably means the way that I build these uh, that we're not going to have the absolute dollar cheapest Freedom Express out there. But remember, we also don't do hidden dealer fees. So if you compare a true bottom line, most of the time, people find that Halo RV is a superior value dealership. And remember, you are buying the dealership as much as the camper. Um, over here, big camp kitchens, a full-size camp kitchen, they're becoming about as rare as hen's teeth. Have you noticed that? It's like getting harder to find a big camp kitchen. And not to mention, like, you've got a huge awning that goes right up to the camp kitchen. So you've got basically shaded covered space all the way down the entire sidewall of this thing. Bigger fridge, and notice how they mount it lower. And I love that because you can keep the drinks out here. Uh, whether it's, you know, bottled water or the barley pop variety, you can keep some drinks out here where the little kids can get to it. Like maybe some of those little hug juice barrels, for instance. And just like we saw inside, we're getting another of those handy utensil drawers. Anywhere they can, they utilize that, and it's such a cool feature. I love that thing. Real sink with a real drain into a holding tank, and that cool little spice rack, some power outlets, just all kinds of good stuff in this camp kitchen here. Then this guy, free floating Coleman camp stove. It does not have to be 
sitting here. It's nice that it does have a handy retraction space, but if you want to just take this with you, you want to put it on that picnic table, you want to put it under the awning, you want to take it to your buddy Ted's campsite, I don't know who Ted is, but Ted seemed like the appropriate name for me right now, you can do that. As we're working our way over here, I think this is a perfect space for that little picnic table outside, right next to the wide stance stability axles. Because, um, you know, <laughs> when you're at your campsite, you don't care so much about wide stance axles. But when you're driving, these things, when they're further apart like that, they help the towing comfort of the RV very nicely. You don't tend to get bounced back and forth. You don't tend to go up and down or side to side as much. It's a very inexpensive way to really significantly enhance your towing experience. We're uh, The RV drivers that bring stuff here, they talk about it all the time. Like, man, these things tow nice. Anytime a camper has these, I'm always hearing from the drivers. These things sure tow nice. But what I was saying, put your picnic table outside, outside TV hookups, and I love this right here. Normally, this is kind of the sort of thing you'd find in a Freedom Express, and it's actually, it's under the interior refrigerator. And I can tell you, because that's the access panel to the back of the 12 volt fridge right there. But this would normally have a pull-out Coleman camp stove in it, but this RV already has a camp kitchen. So they didn't waste it, because storage is too valuable. So they include this really handy full extension drawer right there, which, I mean, for whether it's for your picnic stuff, or if you want to use it for like bug sprays and little things like that, it's just incredibly useful. Now over here, you got a handy little leash latch combination bottle opener. And I find that very curious, because I think that if you're using that bottle opener too much, you're gonna to wanna to use the leash latch to make sure you don't go wandering off and get lost. Maybe that's a good way to just kinda of keep you around the campsite. At least that's, I think, what I'd uh, do with it if I was uh, camping with my Uncle Gary. But <laughs> that's an entirely different topic for an entirely different day. And a couple quick features to show you here on the roof. First of all, this polar white roof membrane along with that skin, it's going to organically shed so much sunlight to help keep the RV cooler, it's wonderful. Now, in conjunction with that, the black circle you see in the middle here, the little guy, that is a roof attic vent. So the gap between the interior ceiling panel and the exterior roof decking that I'm walking on, because it's a fully walkable roof on all Freedom Expresses, it can get hot. And if you don't let that heat bleed out and exhaust, it'll boil you from the top down. Well, you don't have to worry about that here. And then in case you're curious, this big black bucket looking thing, that's a WineGuard Air 360 antenna system. So effectively, it's an omnidirectional antenna and you don't have to worry about cranking it up and down, so you don't have to worry about it accidentally getting ripped off by a low-hanging tree branch or anything like that. And the thing is, every RV has that one thing that makes it really stand out. And that's why we put these videos together here at Halo RV, guys, because they all have something special. They all have that different thing that makes them stand out. And what we want to do is help you find your second camper the first time. We want you to go out there and have a good time and, and keep it in your driveway and not have to bring it back for things. That's why we go the extra efforts like we are walking around the roof of these things. So if you appreciate that, if you appreciate the fact that we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between, then give us a call because, ladies and gentlemen, we do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.